This is Mercy Pilkington for Good E-Reader at Digital Book World, talking to Matt Kavner, the VP of Business Development for VOOC. We first introduced ourselves to VOOC last year at this event, and it's been a very exciting year for VOOC, for a lot of content coming out, and culminating today in some awards actually given out at Digital Book World. So why don't you tell us first about those awards? Thanks. Yeah, today at Digital Book World, we were thrilled to win two awards in the Innovation Awards, the Publishing Innovation Awards. We won for a fiction book, the fiction category, and then a non the nonfiction category as well. And we won with Shuffle, which was an e novel, and then we won with a book called Eleven Days in May, which is a sort of spiritual journey book uh, that was uh, featured a lot of video and audio and uh, an interactive chat element by our partner, Democrasoft. This thing called a widget that allows you to talk with an author inside the book. I remember covering Shuffle back when it was first launched and discussing the fact that it really could not have been done in a paper format. It really required some of the innovation in digital publishing, but also required a digital publisher who could have the foresight to see the possibility there. Not all ebook formats would have worked for a book that lets you move the stories around within the framework of the book. So how has Book really focused on trying to be that kind of innovator? Yeah, it's, you know, at Book we do a lot of, we're really flexible in the kind of projects we do, uh, which isn't just me being in a PR mode. The fact is we do something like Why Romney Lost, which we released the night of the election when Obama, uh, when Romney conceded. We hit publish and it went live the next day. So we do projects that happen very quickly. But we also have our group inside of the company that works on long-term stuff. And Shuffle's a great example of that. Shuffle's a book that it's a it's a fiction story and it's comprised of a lot of short narratives and you can read them in any order. It's like a randomized choose your own adventure. And you can click and go to different parts of the book. And the book's set up thematically like an iPod shuffle. So you click on songs, which are actually chapter headings. And when you click on that, it links you through to the appropriate chapter, and then you can randomly go off to another chapter, like you're listening to a book on shuffle. Now, we did that with a lot of internal linking. So it's using some basic ebook technology that you can do in Kindle, you can do in Barnes & Noble, you can do in, do in iBookstore, Kobo, elsewhere, just linking. Then we spent a lot of time linking across the book. So it's as if you can take this journey back and forth through your book and the pages are rapidly flipping past as you jump around inside of it. Um, I remember when the book House of Lees came out in the 90s and that was this massive paper book that had you flipping around in different parts of the ebook. And I think this is really a digital equivalent to that. And I'm always surprised that more people aren't doing it because it's just fun to be a reader and feel like you are lost in the middle of this universe. Uh, and so that's something we're really proud of. And of course, it just takes our technologists a long time working with the creative side to figure out where these links should go and how we structure it and how you, you know, randomize the chapter setup. And that's where we really, the, the author brought the creative know-how and we sort of enabled that, like a great design department, to bring it to market. And so Book has had a really interesting year working with a lot of well-known partners such as New York Times, which of course we just recently talked to you about, um, and other, other companies who are relying on bookmakers to create their product. So how do you plan to win next year's award? Yeah, What's exactly. coming up? Exactly. <laughs> so all, the one thing I wanted to do in 2012 was have, be, have contracts with my two favorite newspapers, which is the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times, and I, among many other deals, we got those and, and, and nothing could make us happier. Uh, in 2013, I think we've proven out the case for ebooks and media companies. We'll continue to expand there. But there are also so many other segments of uh, the marketplace. People everywhere from restaurants to document companies to consulting companies to advertising companies to people with car men. And everybody wants to get this content onto a mobile device. So I'm almost thinking about it in 2013, less as we'll make ebooks for you, more as let us take your content, complicated or not, whatever format it might be in, and let us bring it to the mobile devices, the tablet market, but also let us find innovative ways for you to publish this online. Uh, no more one-size-fits-all solutions. Let's find a customized content strategy that lets you future-proof your content for all these devices and all the changes that are coming up. So I hope to reproduce what we've done with these media industry titans across other industries and segments uh, in 2013. And we can't wait to see what comes out as well. Thank you for your time. Again, this is Mercy Pilkington for Good E-Reader at Digital Book World. Thank you.